why most women want to be married and be a mission. Turn it up. Stay tuned. You gotta stop worrying about what people think about you And start thinking about what hard work could amount to On the road to success you travel all alone Blocking out the world, staying in your own zone Trying to stay focused when you're in the unknown Cause the snakes in the grass Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe At the end of the video, but first, watch the entire video Next, I just want to say I would not be talking about all women. It just feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself. All right. Why women want to be married and be wise and be mistresses. My bad. That's what we're going to be talking about today. First, I'm going to start off with why women want to be wives. All right. Women want to be married regardless of what they say on surface, what they say on the Internet. They want to be married. All right. A lot of these young girls, they fell for the trick. I feel sorry for the young ones and they don't have any relationship skills. So you got a lot of women that are growing out of that feminist phase and they're growing into this. I want to be married phase. All right. Now, the women that want to be married, that are going to be seeking marriage. This is going to be an opportunity for a lot of guys out there who is not on top of their game, who didn't get in the gym, who didn't get on their purpose. All right. That's still looking for women. Those type of women are going to be for you. Those are going to be the wall hitters that are looking to get married. And if you're not the best version of yourself as a man and you're still seeking a woman, I think that you should aim towards that. You need the girl that hit the wall and says, I want to be married because you haven't became the best version of yourself. So you can't complain about her past or what she looks like because you probably look the same. Now, for all the other guys out there who are on your purpose, who are doing your thing, you still have to hire your standards a little more. You still can't be with the average woman. You still got to find a woman and you got to mold her up, which is what you would teach yourself in the process of you bettering yourself. You would know how to find the woman that you need to be with so you can mold her up. All right. So understand majority of men and women want to be married regardless of what they're saying online and on surface next to a woman the man that's good in bed is not the man that she wants to go a long-term relationship with what do i mean by that 90 percent of housewives have a man that's not good in bed but he's really good with kids he's really good with money he's really good with family all right, because those are going to be the most important things to a woman, not necessarily what's happening in the bed. And the reason why what he does in the bed doesn't matter is because she can always get somebody to get in the bed. She always knows this. A woman always knows I can always find a man that's going to blow my back out, but I cannot find a man that's going to play the family role, that's going to pay all the bills and that's going to worship me. So the amount of guys that are going to actually be eligible to worship her, when I say eligible, I mean the guys that are going deeper than just the DMs. See, the DMs got a whole bunch of guys. I love you. I want to be with you. I'll donate to your cash app. I'll do this and I'll do that. Okay, those are fantasy guys. She uses them as tools because those are just the guys that are weak. But we're talking about the guy that she's going to physically see in real life. It's going to be the kind of mindset of that guy, but he's going to be a little bit more sanity. So she's going to get a beta male in the neighborhood that's local to her to marry. But he's going to be the beta male that has the good job. He's going to be the beta male that family does come first. He's going to be the beta male that worships her. See, she's going to be with the beta male that worship her, but everybody on the outside of the relationship is going to know she's only using him. Why? Because to a woman, the guy that's good in bed is not the same guy who could go long term in a relationship, which is why they date the beta to manipulate them. But then they go get their back blown out by the alpha male. She continues this trait even when she gets married. Next, why do she want to be a mistress? That's where we're talking about the other guy. All right. The reason why the other guy is good in bed it's because she places herself as the mistress. Now, you may be like, what do you mean the mistress? The mistress is a side chick to a man who has a woman or a married man. You're right. That's what she wants. Women don't want to be in a relationship and mess with a guy who's single 
unless she's ready to move on. It's not going to work. When a woman gets married, she is really, most of those women are not looking to cheat on their beta male with a single guy. And the reason why is because they fear that the single guy will fall in love with them, right? And then jeopardize her manipulation that she has over her beta male, right? You have to understand that. What's more important to a woman is the fact that that man pays the bills, can play the family role, and worship her. With him not being good in bed, that's a different ball game. But she can't allow the average guy to mess up the three things that she already has locked down. So she aims for that guy who already has a girlfriend or that guy that already has a wife. Why? Because it allows her to play the mysterious game, right? And when you play the mysterious game with a woman, it turns her on. So with her competing with the wife and being a side chick, it turns her on. It puts them in the danger zone when they got to sneak around and do things. When they got to sneak around and it's dangerous and it's very suspense and they can get caught. That helps a woman to have an orgasm faster. At the same time, it keeps the other guy from falling in love with her to jeopardize losing everything that she built with the beta male. You have to understand that. That's how a woman is looking at it. Some guys think, oh, I'm a good looking guy. I'm driving down the road. I got a nice car. I hop out the car. All the women are looking at me. I'm good looking. I'm this. Let me tell you something. A lot of that only works with young women and fat chicks when you get older. It don't work with the average girl. The guy that hops out with all the muscles and all that, I'm telling you, that's only young women and fat chicks when you get older. When women get around 30 and 29, 28, 30 years old, they know what guy has the money. They know what guy is alpha. You can't convince them of nothing. You can't come around now all muscled up, looking chilled up, and then as soon as you start talking, she spots your beta traits. That's what women see. Women see beta traits within a man. So understand, she needs that mystery. She needs to create her own fantasy inside of her head. So a man that already has a woman plays the perfect role for her and causes her to get that rush, that thrill, that's gonna allow her to have an orgasm to release the dopamine throughout her body. She needs that mysterious. I told guys, mystery creates desire, desire creates love with a woman, but a woman loves to desire a man that women want that's how come she wants to be a mistress to a married man and be married to another guy next beta males are only bait i wish a lot of these guys will understand that you're only bait the moment your woman walks outside of that house she starts flirting with other men. She starts interacting with other men. Every man around you loses respect. Loses respect for you. That's what a lot of you so-called I got my life together beta males don't get. If your woman, let's say you the guy that got the bins, that got everything, that got the nice car, that got the mansion, that got all the money. You're worth $10 million, right? You got the pretty woman. But your pretty woman goes to the gym and flirts with everybody at the gym and then she gets caught being with another man. But you don't know it yet. But everybody around you know. Guess what? You're no longer the man. Your house don't matter to nobody no more. Your money don't matter to nobody no more. Once a man is known as a sucker, nobody want, nobody cares about a weak man. Nobody. Your money is not going to make people think you stronger than you. Your money is not going to make people respect you. Only thing that's going to happen is with you betas, you get used as bait for her to flush out the alpha male. So the alpha male gives her the mysterious and starts to create a life with her so she feels good. That's the sad part. A lot of these beta males out here thinking that just because you could portray the image of what society told you to be, you have it. No, it don't work like that. If your woman worried about what she look like when she walk outside and she got to always look good, you're done. You're done. If you ain't around, other men are messing with your woman in this, you're done. I keep trying to tell dudes, you could be the man. If your woman is slut, nobody's going to like you. I don't care who you are, where you from. 
You could be the toughest guy, the most bodybuilding guy. You could be the richest guy in the world and have a woman. The moment that woman shows that she has no respect for you, everybody around you won't have respect for you. That's how simple it is. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully, you was able to get the message on why women want to be wives and mistresses at the same time. In order for a man to keep a woman's interest, he must not be that interested into her. She has to be interested in learning everything about you. The moment a woman feels like she knows everything about you, it's over. This is Anthony Spade. Hasta la vista.